Hey guys, Paul Inventor 3 here. Oh, <laughs> hope you're all being safe out there. So, uh, here's part three of the wireless power transfer. Let's look at the camera there. <laughs> Let's look at the right side there. Keeps getting more and more interesting, guys. Uh, let me show you what's going on. Okay, well, the first thing I want to show you is that my frequency generator. Okay, I got it through Amazon. It's a Cooler Tron. Great customer support. Thousands and thousands of frequently asked questions and answers. Uh, you ask about the current here, and you could see 0.1 amp. Uh, where is it? Here's over here. 0.1 amp. 0.1 amp is the absolute maximum this frequency generator can put out. So in my last video I had what 350 LEDs lit and what I was applying 11 volts so that's 1.1 watt. Alright let me quickly explain something to you guys about this system without giving away the secrets or anything here. I think I could say this. Uh, now when I light the 150 LEDs off of the table uh, that energy there is no ground in any way shape or form so that energy has to be coming from the air now you may ask yourself well does he have any power lines nearby yes I do and I'm going to show you that right now here are my power lines guys they're about four feet away literally from the top pole of my laboratory okay now but the other thing we have to think about is now in my last video again if you haven't seen it watch it it's only it's a short video when I light 200 LEDs from those 150 below the table there then I have an earth ground now when I connect those 150 to the 200 I'm connecting to the negative end of those 200 so those are diodes you know as well as I do the energy can only flow through in one direction but it's like drawing it it's like sucking it uh, extracting it you say okay yeah he's got the power lines there so when I light those 200 they are earth grounded and 150 are connected to the negative end of those LEDs so the only place they could be getting their energy is is from the ground now yeah of course I've checked the, the voltage coming out of my ground you know I did like everyone else probably a, a fraction I forget exactly it's a fraction of a volt maybe one volt if anything and there's probably no power or current behind it so uh, yeah where is the energy coming from
I don't know if I mentioned or not, but getting current readings from this system is very difficult. You put a, a meter into the system, well, it becomes part of the system, right? And throws everything out of tune. So I've been having one heck of a time getting any type of current readings. But uh, I'm going to attempt to set up some bulbs and a variac and using the hot wall, wall power from the house. And we'll get them the same brightness and then check the power off of that and compare it with the brightness of the bulbs I have and all right guys hope you enjoyed this video this is really getting interesting uh, stay tuned for the next one Do 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 do.